hi welcome back to my channel i'm gonna do a quick video today reviewing these two products this is the giovanni two chic ultra moist shampoo and conditioner for dry damaged hair it says deeply conditions hair for gorgeous luster leaves hair smooth and supple silk and strands with softness and shine drenches each tress in hydration <laughs> helps prevent split ends and breakage and i guess apparently it is infused with avocado and olive oil it is color safe and salon quality, vegan, cruelty free, infused with natural botanical ingredients and recyclable, recyclable <laughs> packaging. Also, there are no parabens, no mineral oil, no harmful sulfates, no propylene glycol, no phthalates, no artificial dyes. I found a creator on TikTok who was talking about this line of products, the Giovanni Two Chic. He is a hairstylist, I'm pretty sure. And um, he mentioned that he uses this on all his clients. He said he works on 4C hair, 2A, whatever, all the things. <laughs> I was very, very curious because he said it was just really ultra moisturizing. And so, I took my little self to Whole Foods and I found they had the shampoo in stock, but they had literally, this was the last conditioner that they had. I wanted to get the big one, but they ran out of that. So I have to order that online in order to get it because they have it on Amazon. You can order it on Amazon Fresh from Whole Foods or just the Giovanni store on Amazon or on the Giovanni website. But fun fact, shipping is very, very expensive on the Giovanni website for whatever reason. Anyway, when I tried this out, it was the perfect time because my hair was super de duper dry. And I'll insert some clips. I was originally going to put this in a reel, but I was just... I had like three minutes of talking and I was like, I cannot cut that down. So I'm just gonna do a regular YouTube video. So I'll put a picture of what my hair looked like before. Then I hopped in the shower with the shampoo. I have some clips of what the texture looked like on the shampoo as well as the conditioner. Long story short, I didn't really love the shampoo, but I absolutely love the conditioner. This is like my number one favorite conditioner right now it is just the texture is amazing and i don't know if what i'm gonna say makes a ton of sense to people who don't have textured hair or highly textured hair but it's very not forgiving is the word but it spreads really well like there are some conditioners when you put them on and like you have to use a ton for it to like spread through your hair versus with this you can use a little bit and it's going to spread really far and like coat all the strands. Those who know, know. <laughs> You'll understand what I'm talking about. And it is highly, highly moisturizing, this conditioner. And I tried, took it a step further and I shampooed my hair with just these two and I didn't apply any product to it. And I used my red there to blow dry it. And my hair was very, very soft with no product aside from washing my hair with this. And conditioning with this rinsing it out and then like i said i blew dry it blow dried it <laughs> and it was very very soft which is crazy um so i'll show you pictures uh, or insert clips of that in there and the reason why i didn't love the shampoo is because okay so the conditioner doesn't have any silicones in it as far as i'm aware I've looked through all the ingredients and I'm doing a double check now, but there are no silicones in this. And it's not like I'm anti-silicones. I use silicones, especially when I'm straightening, straightening my hair. Like I use a shampoo and conditioner that has silicones in it because it's really good for heat protection on the hair. But I don't like the way, especially like in a shampoo, that my hair feels after having rinsed it out. So like when I put it in, it feels nice, but then when I rinse it out, there's like some sort of waxy like film that to touch is unpleasant to me. I'm not to say that it doesn't work well, but I just don't like it at all. So I probably wouldn't gravitate to using this, uh, but this conditioner is pretty much gone. Like I've used it multiple times, but I don't love the shampoo. Like I said, I don't I think it's a bad shampoo, but yeah, it has uh, silicones in it. Yeah, a dimethicone. And I just feel like it just feels so unpleasant to me. And so when I'm not straightening my hair, I just don't bother with it because I just don't like the way that it feels. Oh, and another tip that I wanted to talk to you or let you know, I have a clip that I'll put in here, is for my shampoo, because my hair is dense and highly textured, I really like to put the shampoo 
in the in a color applicator bottle like melanin i learned this tip from natural 85 like forever ago and even her shampoo comes in a bottle that has a nozzle like that because it's just easy to get the product directly on the scalp a lot of the times you know you are, are shampooing your hair and not actually your scalp so it's an easy way to ensure that the shampoo is actually getting there and then the lather is just coming down so yeah, I usually put it in the color applicator bottle and I'll put a little water in it just to make it a little easier. And yeah, that works really well for me. So that way I can just put it right in there, you know, nicely smooth it down. Just a little pro tip. I said long story short before, but long story short, this conditioner is absolutely 10 out of 10. I was amazed at how soft my hair was when blow drying my hair with absolutely zero product on it. It was quite shocking. <laughs> But I use this all the time now. I cannot wait to get my big, big bottle because I have like probably one more use left in here. This I could do without, but um, that's just more so a personal thing. So I would say worth a try. What I would do is get the travel size of the shampoo because, you know, usually you just, at least for me, I use a lot less shampoo than I do of conditioner. So I would get the travel size conditioner or shampoo, excuse me, and then I would get like the eight ounce conditioner and try that out and another thing this is a really great price so i think this one was like 8.99 or 7.99 also they do sale sometimes at whole foods and the big one which is 24 ounces i think it's like 24 no is it like 16 bucks i don't know it's very very affordable and high quality i mean what can i say so yeah um highly highly impressed definitely give it a try i feel like it's a great kind of technically drugstore because you can walk into whole foods and get this it's like definitely one of the best drugstore shampoo and conditioners that you can try. The Too Chic line has a lot of stuff. I mean, they have a deep conditioner, like a mask that's apparently really good. They have like serums and oils, and there are even multiple different versions of the Too Chic, um, as well as like a purple one. So anyway, I say that to say, I maybe will try another one of the shampoos and see which one has a silicone in it versus not, and try that out with the conditioner so if i find one i'll definitely let you guys know and there's definitely a hair oil that i want to try from the too chic line i think it's the purple oil and it's the one that doesn't have the silicones in it either i mean like ser like an oil serum that has a silicone in it it's just fine for me but i really like oil blends that aren't silicone based i prefer them for like my you know everyday type of use so there's a purple one where they have like an oil blend that isn't based in silicone. It's it's all different oils. I think it's like an argan oil mix and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to pick that up to try too, along with the mask and other things. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. This video was like kind of all over the place, but definitely give this a try for sure. And I'll see you next time. Bye.